Hi friends. So today is Friday, August the 2nd. And today the moon is in the sign of Virgo. Uh, it's a waxing crescent moon in the earth sign of Virgo. So today, Friday and tomorrow, Saturday are all about building and um, and making progress and taking steps toward your goals. Um, the waxing phase of the moon is when the light is returning, when uh, things are beginning to um, take root, beginning to sprout, beginning to um, germinate and open up. Um, and in the Virgo Earth time, um, it's a beautiful opportunity to really get that established in a grounded, um, practical, organized kind of way. So um, these next couple of days are really excellent for getting organized, for clearing unnecessary clutter, um, prioritizing your tasks and your projects. Uh, make a list and mute the distractions. Try to really cut back on distractions for these next couple of days. Um, that, you know, is a challenge in our times, but it can be really helpful for this Virgo moon energy to have a, a clear desk, a clear space. Um, today and tomorrow uh, can feel really productive for, you know, cleaning your house or cleaning your office, clearing your desk. Um, making your lists and, um, and, and remembering the bigger picture, remembering the, the major goal and laying out those action steps that you can take to move forward and make progress on them. So focus on those step-by-step -step actions and it's an excellent time also in this waxing crescent Virgo moon to, um, to create or update your sort of daily routines for your own care, for your self-care, for your body, for your health, for your wellness. Um, if, um, if it's time, if it feels like a ripe time to sort of change that up a little bit, to reprioritize um, maybe what you're doing in your daily routines, um, how you're taking care of yourself, how you are nourishing yourself, how you are managing your energetic resources and your material resources, um, how you are managing and organizing your day-to-day -day so that it can continue to be really supportive for your moving forward. Um, so, you know, take a little time to look at, you know, what is your morning routine? What is your evening routine? And how can you make those even more effective and simple, um, yet really helpful for, for your life? Um, everything really rests on that foundation. The way that you care for yourself, the way that you take care of yourself is how you do everything in your life. And so prioritize that um, as you're moving forward in this cycle. Um, notice as you move forward in this cycle, the better you do with your own, taking care of your own needs, the better everything in your life gets handled and taken care of. Um, so outline, um, you know, your, your plan, your strategy for this next cycle. You know, what are those big projects that you're really wanting to make progress on? Strategize the actions that you need to take and also really take some inventory. What do you already have in place and what do you need? Um, and that way you can draw on what you already uh, have to work with and you can prioritize and strategize ways to get what it is that you need in order to move forward. So getting really real with your expectations versus your resources, um, recognizing what you already have to work with what you need to bring in and then you know getting really real about the expectations around that um, you know often we talk about how much bandwidth we have to accomplish certain things or to take care of certain tasks and so you know this Virgo moon time is a really good time to kind of look at that bigger picture of it and and map out the strategy for making that kind of progress in a way that doesn't burn burn you out that doesn't overwhelm, um, you know, 
Virgo is excellent for like sort of taking those bite-sized pieces, taking the bigger picture, chunking it down. So think about how can you chunk down your process, your work, your projects, your self-care um, in order to make it more efficient. So what can you simplify? Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle, right? This earth moon time is really encouraging us to work with what we already have. Perhaps there are some innovative ways to reorganize and restructure um, and recycle what's already available. You know, Virgo is very practical and objective. It's not a deep emotional time. Um, it's very practical and very, um, you know, resource um, conscious. So, you know, look at those areas of your life. Where are your resources kind of being perhaps used unnecessarily and where are your is your life needing more strength and vitality? And so map that out. Make a list. Prioritize. Um, it's a great time to, you know, look at your calendar and um, really um, objectively and realistically plan out your next steps. Um, what is most in need of attention in your life right now, even if you don't feel like it? Um, I find Virgo moons, I can feel kind of cranky, kind of a um, little bit irritable on these days. And, um, you know, it's, I find that it's for me uh, uh, more of a challenging time because we are being asked to just like get really practical, look at the, you know, the steps that need to be taken. Um, myself, I, I tend to love to be a big picture dreamer, visionary person. And so sometimes I can get a little cranky around like, oh, all the steps it takes to get to that point and all of the maintaining that we have to do, you know, to continue things moving forward. So just kind of accept that for these next couple of days. These next couple of days are all about the daily tasks, the routines, the maintenance, the taking care of those details that are essential and are the foundation of what it is we're doing in our life. So kind of surrender to that, um, open up to that, embrace that, get really kind of excited about the planning and the details and taking care of business. Okay, so that's today, Friday, uh, tomorrow, Saturday, all day. Um, let it be a good Virgo start to the weekend. And then on Sunday, we'll shift into the air moon of Libra. And um, that will sort of help us to feel like we can lighten up a little more and open up a little more and, you know, connect more with the bigger visions. Okay, thank you so much. Really appreciate um, this opportunity to share with you.